votes. Um, Senator Bernardi, who will you be voting for? Well, Lee, unlike uh, many other commentators in this who are either seeking promotion or protection, I'm only interested in the health and well-being of Australia's political system, our national interest and what I think is in the long-term interest of the Liberal Party. And quite frankly, I think uh, to stick with the Prime Minister is important to all of those things. And it's not based on any personalities. It's not based on any, you know, personal uh, likes or dislikes from my end. It's about what I truly think is in the national interest. Do you think the Prime Minister's been doing a good job, though? Well, you know, I've been uh, on the record as saying there's been some decisions I haven't been happy with over the last 18 months. But over the last six or so weeks, I've come to a resolute and uh, conclusion that we can win the next election if we continue along the path upon which the Prime Minister clearly set out um, some six or eight weeks ago. And uh, I thought the, the green shoots of success were coming along until they've been sabotaged and there's been some debilitating leaks, a few own goals, and uh, it's all obviously designed to culminate in this moment. But whether or not it's sabotage or own goals, um, isn't the problem that most of it is coming out of your own side? It's not that Labor's doing anything particularly to do you damage. You're doing it all to yourselves. Oh, Labor have been doing a terrible job, and uh, so have some of my colleagues, quite frankly, because they've put self-interest ahead of the national interest. Um, they are prepared to create chaos and uh, damage the government to serve their own ends. Who are you talking about exactly? Well, you know, when the leaks run all one way and they're designed to damage the Prime Minister and uh, the government, you don't have to uh, be Einstein to realise who's going to benefit from that. And look, it was clearly a period and a process of destabilisation uh, designed to culminate in this moment. We've seen it before. I saw it when Brendan Nelson was ripped to pieces so that he would uh, uh, be lost to the leadership. This is not about policy. There was no change in policy announced today. What this is about is personal ambition and ego. And I've got to tell you, Lee, for me, you know, it's about the national interest. I, p politics has become a circus in this country because of egos and ambition. It's time we got back to some serious, straightforward policy. And as far as the Liberal Party is concerned, that means remaining a Conservative Party. Would you, if Malcolm Turnbull were to emerge victorious from the meeting this evening, would you be able to be a part of the team of a Prime Minister, Malcolm Turnbull? Lee, I'm not going to speculate about things like that. I I'm, I'm sincerely hope that in the national interest and the interest of the Liberal Party and politics as a whole, that the Prime Minister prevails tonight. And the reasons for that is because I think there will be an, a, a huge rebellion amongst our base. Already uh, there's hundreds of emails that are coming through my system saying that they don't want to see any change. And the overwhelming nature of it is that, that for good or for bad, the people of Australia voted for Prime Minister Abbott at the last election. They don't want to see us go down the path of the Labor Party. That was debilitating and gruelling and damaging for politics in this country. And if they don't like the Prime Minister at the next election, they can throw him out. But you know what? I think that Tony Abbott would prevail at the next election. Is the fact that you didn't answer that question by saying I'll support whoever the party room elects an indication that these divisions are not going to go anywhere and regardless of who's the leader tomorrow, it's still going to be a fractured Liberal Party? Well, you know, Lee, I occupy one of those rare positions in this party in that, uh, or in politics in general. I speak the truth and I cop a hounding for it. But you know what? If the government or the Prime Minister is doing a bad job, I tell them that and sometimes I tell you too. But, you know, when I think they're doing a good job, I think, uh, you know, there's a, a degree of credibility and honesty. And what I can tell you today is for um, a, a senior Cabinet member to launch a leadership challenge against a first-term Liberal Party Prime Minister has done incredible damage to our base. It's done incredible damage to the integrity of politics as a whole. It is becoming a circus, as I said, and the people of Australia are heartily sick of it. And they want more truth and less BS in this place. What do you think all of this is going to mean for the Canning by-election on the weekend? Well, this is another thing. You know, there's a guy who in poker parlance has gone all in. He's resigned his commission in the, in the military. He's moved his house and his family. He's put everything on the line about the Canning by-election and, you know, had the respect that some of our party show for him. They launch stunts like this. This is dangerous. It's debilitating. I, you know, I feel sorry for Mr Hasty. I, I haven't met him, but apparently he's a champion bloke. He's had a, a record of service and loyalty that deserves much better than what he's received today. Senator Cory Bernardi, thank you very much for your time tonight. Pleasure, Lee. Thanks.